Vanuatu is made up of roughly 83 islands, with different customs and culture unique to each individual island. The people of Vanuatu value their customs and culture as their identity because it is part of who they are as one people. Arranged marriages is one of the oldest and most traditional customary norms that has been practiced in Vanuatu for centuries. The purpose of arranged marriages is to keep the peace and prevent tribal wars, to create alliance between tribes and as a form of sharing traditional wealth. However, due to influence of westernization, many Nivans have adopted the idea of love marriage instead of arranged marriage. As a result, the custom practice of arranged marriages is slowly becoming extinct. But the fragment ideal of arranged marriages still exists among some Vanuatu people, especially those in remote areas. This Matai presentation will be based on the consequences of arranged marriages today. In the Mata village, the wealthy parents of the young groom Elijah and his younger brother Charlie finally get to meet the young bride and her parents. Elijah's father, one of the great village leaders, is very pleased with this engagement and has come to remind Mary's parents about their traditional pact. Mary's parents are very excited about the engagement as their daughter is soon to marry the next great chief of Namata village. However, they are unaware of the fact that Mary already has a lover, Andrew, who she's been seeing for a very long time now. In your eyes, I found the greatest pride. Honey, yes. come here, we have to discuss and miss you. Yeah, I will go, go and talk to her and bring her here. Yeah, you should probably go. Someone else, apart from the custom boy that we have arranged for you to get married to. Is it true? Is it true that you are seeing somebody by the name of Andrew? Mary, I can't believe this. What 
I'm hearing is true or is it rumors that you are seeing another boy? This is not right, Mary. And we are not happy with you. You know, Mary, Elijah, he came from a TV clan. And not just any chief, but the paramount chief of this uh, So, promise me that you're going to end that relationship between you and Henry. You know, your mother and I, we, we didn't want to punish you or something. We just want what's best for you. Your mother may not be educated like you are, but she's a wise woman. She knew what the risk about you seeing another boy. So the best thing to do is for you to just stop the relationship between you and your boyfriend and whoever his name is. Elijah's parents were discussing their two sons' future as their eldest son, Elijah, was about to be married to Mary, whom they have arranged for. So the couple decided to show their sons around the largest landmark of their island, which their two sons are to inherit after marriage. Disappointed Mary decides that she does not want to continue the engagement with Elijah and decides to kill herself. She tries to drink poison in her room, but her mother catches her on fire. Do you love him? I haven't even met him. Okay. 
Yeah, you guys know. I don't know if I forever. Not that. Yes, I know too, but what about the parents? What about them? I think you should listen to them because uh, they can. Sometimes they get parents too. After the gross fight between Elijah and Andrew, Mary's parents are called to meet with Elijah's parents. They talk about the engagement and how it's not turning out as planned. Mary's parents are very disappointed with how Elijah has treated Andrew as he is now in hospital. This incident did not reflect the qualities of a great leader they had hoped Elijah to be. Elijah's family has been greatly shamed by this and apologized. As head chief of Namata, Elijah's father was deeply regretful for his son's action and agreed to follow Mary's family's decision. The two families discuss their differences and finally come to the decision to cancel the engagement. Mary's parents finally accept their daughter's plea and have allowed her to follow her heart continue seeing her love. 